Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be polishing a Baltic amber that I found while I was amber hunting. And I picked two pieces. One that has a fly in it, quite a tiny piece. And the second one is the biggest piece I found, which has this reddish color. I'm really happy to polish them and quite eager to, because I found them myself. So, let's get to it. This is the pieces I found when I was amber hunting and we are gonna polish this too. This red one is the biggest piece I found that day and it has this nice reddish color. So we are gonna polish it and this next piece has a tiny fly in it, in the corner. And it's a really small piece so let's go and try to polish them. Let's start from the bigger one. Which is this one. So it is my first time I'm polishing Baltic Ember I catch at the sea with the Dremel. I used it so far, so far I used Dremel only for the pieces that were mined from the, you know, sand. And this piece, it feels a lot, uh, you know, a lot softer. Yeah, it's a lot softer, the material comes a lot quicker, so I'm a little bit worried when I'm grinding. Because it cracks all over. I try to grind some and no, it comes right away. I will proceed, but I need to be cautious with it, I don't wanna, you know, destroy it. So yeah, it lost a little bit of its red color, but it's still nice, but yeah, as I said before, it's quite flat. I had to remove a uh, little bit more because, you know, it was this layering was scraping off and to make it stable I had to remove it, so yeah. Now I'm gonna just polish it. And I also prepped this other piece with insect. I'm also gonna polish it now. And I will show you the insect after I'm done polishing. Yeah guys, I finished uh, with 2000 grit now. And the pieces became quite smaller now. All that's left is polishing it. Yeah, this piece was pretty easy. The shape was okay, but as I said before, I had to remove quite some of layer from the other side because it was scraping off, uh, and I wanted to make it, you know, uh, stable, Be stable so it won't crack and so on. I will polish it and show you that. Now, I also did this piece. Well, this one was bit more challenging. I'm guessing you can see a fly now, here in the corner. Uh, you know, the shape itself is okay, I like the shape. So I will polish now and show you the result.
this is something different than I use uh, always. This is scratch remover. And let's see. And now let's move to the insect piece. I can tell you right now, scratch remover doing good job. God damn it, 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 it got very slippery and it's very small, so un uncomfortable. I'm almost polishing my fingers. Oh, holy fuck. And I was about to go back. There we go. Yep, this is the same piece I found on the beach that day. And it has this shiny thing going on, really pretty. And have some cloudiness also. But it's hard to see in this video. That's a shame, but it's a really nice piece and I'm quite happy how it turned out. And by the way guys, I'm planning to go to Ember Hunt again next month. But this time for not just one day, but for like a week. So I'm expecting some, you know, good loot from that trip. So stay tuned for next Ember Hunt video. And yep, this is the same piece from that beach. The fly is clearly visible right now. The piece is in nice shape and you know, it's quite clear uh, piece. So I'm really happy with this one that I managed to found it on the beach. And that's it for the video guys. I, enjoy I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.